Hi everyone, welcome to another part of Squires Ladies Refit. We've been down the boat for the past week. Uh, Jen's got, gone back up north and I've uh, came back down to Falmouth where I'm based. Um, sorry that we've been so long since we put an episode on. There's been so much that's happened in our lives in, uh, in the past few months. Uh, I have been down to the boat once, so this footage is uh, spread out over a couple of different times of being down. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Over the winter time, the first couple of hours of coming down to the boat, we were spending up cleaning after Mother Nature. Where are we going, lovely? Let's pick the rigging up. And how much has that set us back? Around about £1,000. We were picking it up in a Queensland battery, just around the corner here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and there comes my happy chappy with our new rigging. You can see from this old photo which was taken before our mast was tucked down, our rigging was in a bad way, the force day had snapped and the main sail was unretrievable so ended up in the bin. With knocking off the old galley out, the rubbish started building up so it was time for the sort out so we could have our space back in the cockpit. Easy to get rid of the old controls, so I've got a battery powered angle grinder and cut it out. If anybody's not used one of these before, I really recommend them, they're quite good. Then I started cutting out and grinding out the small holes left by the controls and the small screw holes with a fake Dremel tool. Once that was done, I'd give it a wipe down and a clean and started mixing some fiberglass body filler. No words needed here, just the hard work and woman who loves getting her hands dirty. Took the mass spreader bars off and stowed them inside for the winter. Give them a clean up over the next couple of weeks and I'll have them looking as good as new. Previous owner did use some ropes but also used wires to pull in the sails. Uh, these wires have well gone past the use by date, little splinters sticking out everywhere so I'll replace them with some 10 mil rope in the next couple of weeks. I left the old rope and wires in position on the mast to make it ease of fitting the new stuff. I'm gonna leave these old stickers on the mast because it's a little bit of a history about the boat. This is the old gas pipe that I pulled out to the boat and it was dated August 1981. That's older than me, so I thought let's pull everything out including the electrical wires.
some of the old wiring was in really bad state you can see some parts have burnt out and half the fuses are missing so as I said before pull it all out and start from scratch I know what you're thinking, why didn't he use wire cutters? We looked for them everywhere and couldn't find any. So the next best thing, Stanley knows. Find it in VHF or plugged into these two plug sockets. Not seen anything like this before, but I take it to just old school ones. I'm going to use the same electrical box as the previous owner did, with it being right next to the 12 volt battery. All I've bought up to now is a few switchboard and some LED lights, but what I'll do is I'll make a whole video about how I get on with the electric. Thanks for watching everybody. Like usual, give us a thumbs up. Any comments, leave below. We're going to do a Q&A video soon, so any questions that you want to be on there, let us know. And hopefully we'll have another video at the weekend with it going down to the boat tomorrow. See you later, everyone.